We've talked about a lot of memorable features that we've worked into the house with the architects and another one of those is coming together right now and that is the stairway and that includes the balusters and the newel posts that we had milled a while back. Now that these are all done, these will be going in very soon. We have a craftsman named Mark Baker putting everything together for us, including the cherry paneling and skirt boards that go in before the risers and treads. He's been working with the basic stair framing we've had here since the house was framed up, but it got a little more complicated at the bottom of the stairs where we made a change from the original plans after the framing was done. It's something we worked out with architects Mike and Nora back before drywall. We had Mark flare out the bottom of our steps here just a couple of inches and then we had a nice curve added to the bottom two steps and it was a little bit of extra work but it turned out great so uh, nice work Mark. Thanks. So we want to talk about a couple details with these steps. Um, first would be the skirt board flare. How exactly did you get that to happen? Okay we had to fur the wall out from nothing to about three inches here to give it a, just a nice gentle curve without overdoing it. Okay. Then we built up the wainscoting over that and bent the base around and then set the skirt board up. Put the skirt board up and marked out all the treads and risers. Took them upstairs and cut them out on a miter box to uh, you know get a nice crisp miter on that and then the tread part cut out with a jigsaw and then finish it with a handsaw. So for the curves here you used a nice cherry veneer. How was that to work with? That was really nice. It's an eighth inch uh, plywood veneer product that bends really nice and smooth. Really good to work with. And then these treads are looking nice. How'd you handle these? We took rough saw and Ipe, five quarter stock, uh, glued them up, planed them down everything. Then we had to cut the curve for the front and the backs to get the nice radius to match the risers. Sand them nice and clean with a belt sander. Take the router, round the noses over to get our profile and away we go. Yeah, and it looks like you're kind of on more of the straightforward part of the steps where everything's nice and square. How's this going? This is going a lot easier. You're about to lay this tread right here? Yeah. We've got this one set in here and all we have to do, get it pushed back into position. We just set our scribing tool right to this distance here and just come over here and mark it out on the tread and make our cut. Nice. Fit perfect. And I notice you have a notch back there in the skirt board. Talk about those. Here we cut the skirt board so that the riser can slide behind what we do is slide the riser behind there and then it's shim tight to this but first we line up the miter perfect and then just shim this tight and you get a perfect fit on both sides without much effort at all. One of the big secrets of getting the tread to fit so nicely to the riser is we drill through the back of the riser and screw the riser to the back of the tread. That gives you a perfect fit, a stronger stairway and it eliminates any possibility of squeaks. Well, it looks like you're, I don't know, maybe almost halfway, so it's looking good so far. It's getting there. I'll let you keep going. Thank you. Thanks.